Hello and welcome to Minecraft. This video building a brand new farm for the Breeze. Get the brand new wind charges which have been added in the new snapshot. They're very cool. So currently the only way to get the Breeze and the wind charges is to find them in the trial chambers. And to find the trial chambers you're going to be mining between negative 40 and negative 20. So I'd say like around negative 30 would be pretty good. And if you can press F3 in Java Edition to see where that is. In new chunks obviously. And if you're in Bedrock you know you might have to just like count up from the bottom to find it. And now we're in the trial chambers. You're going to find a room that actually has the Breeze spawner in it. So I'm playing this all in survival to show you sort of like the survival playthrough of how to do it. Because the farm's really easy. So the first step is actually like clearing out the trial chambers. We'll quickly clear this out. Okay, hit the Breeze. Oh, it's a poison one. That is the worst one. Okay, luckily we've got the Breeze over here. And there we go, we've cleared it, and now we can actually build a farm now. So this will respawn every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes it will recharge. So right now we can build the farm. And within the other farms, the mobs will spawn on any block adjacent to this one in line of sight. So if we put a block here, we cannot spawn here anymore. With normal spawners, you can the mob would still be able to spawn here. But with the trial spawners, it has to have line of sight. So we can only spawn here, or like here on the diagonals as well. We can't spawn here, which is pretty good here or here and it has to be like sort of in line with the spawner as well so this sort of level is where the spawner could spawn and the breeze is the exact same with that but the best part about the breeze is the breeze will actually spawn in the air so you can actually like dig this out so we'll dig out a little area around here so let me quickly dig this out <laughs> Cleared out the area five by five. We go down three blocks from here, so one, two, three, in the five by five area. It's completely cleared out. And next up, we're going to do is put two water sources in the corners. Grab another water source. Very cool. There we go. And from this one spawner, we already got twelve wind charges. Every time they drop, they drop between four and six wind charges. And now what we're going to do is just put them up here and fill this area in so they can't spawn over here. And then we just go around here, pull this up, and also put a full block on top of the spawner, and that means whenever the breezes are defeated, their loot will also flow down as well, so that's very good, and then you're going to build up there, very cool, so the breeze will spawn here, and now we build the roof. And there you go, that's the entire room right there, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks tall. And if we dig our way down here, I just grabbed a night vision potion so you can see a bit better. So if you, as you can see, the farm's right here, the two water sources go there, and then it should stop right here, so perfect. There you go, this is the drop shoot we're going to make. This is where the breeze will be killed, so drop this down two three blocks just to make sure the breeze actually doesn't like jump back out because it can jump a little bit there we go put this blocks here 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 there we go now we can build either a ladder or a staircase down to here whichever you like very cool Mine right away under here perfect this is the drop chamber stone age okay very cool this is the drop chamber so we have this go down here Perfect, and build the staircase a little bit further away so we can have ourselves the copper slab right here. There we go, one copper slab, any slab actually. And then right here we can put ourselves the hopper. And there we go, so the hopper is right here. We swing right here. They can jump a bit, so you, want, you might want to like angle up and like be able to hit them. It's very cool. And now it's ready, so we have to just wait half an hour. Probably cover up the top as well, like in case there's like uh, if you haven't like spawn proof these farms yet, you want to make sure you like you're not getting attacked by like random mobs. This is it, this is all you need to do. 
little water stream. Really simple, so we'll wait half an hour for this to reload. So it's been half an hour, the breeze has spawned in, so now we can just hit them. There we go, one, two, three, four, five. Five times with an iron sword, there you go. And there's another one should spawn in. And if we just wait down here, it should spawn in. There you go, bam. And because we put blocks on top of the spawner, the loot from the spawner will actually drop down as well when we defeat it. So you can hear it and it should just spill out of the spawner. So you should see that loot all down here at some point, hopefully. We can check in creative mode. We can press this and go spectate and have a look. So yeah, we put these blocks here. The loot should, yeah, it should have gone down. So we can check the chest and see if it's in here. Oh, we do. We got a regeneration potion. So there you go. So it works. So there's the full design. And you can make this out of any block. So I just use like the copper blocks because it fits with the aesthetic of the place. The skeleton spawn is activated as well. And so yeah, so you'd... Well, a bit of lag there. That's crazy. Okay. So you obviously you'd like put something around this so they, these guys don't spawn. And if you want to like uh, just go straight to creative mode, you can literally just do this like, like that. If you don't want to make a farm and you, like these spawners are in the way, just do that and literally nothing will spawn because they need line of sight. So there you go. Make a little box like I showed you earlier. You have a little tunnel and you don't even need to cover this now because we, we just don't need to worry about these guys. So there you go. And yeah, so you just do that. There'll be a little thing sticking out. Go down here. You can hook up the, the chest and hopper so you can actually have it automatically collect loot. But you can like just put a chest. Or you can put like a block there and no need for a chest and... Basically, instead of like waiting here and like auto clicking and stuff, I, I I never use auto clickers. I don't like that. I feel like it's like a bit not good. You can go let's go spectator and then have a look around. So make a farm here. You'd have a farm there, and you'd like run around. So you'd have like other rooms. So like like this huge room over there. We're in a big lush cave. It's super cool. Like all the lush caves like spawn in like the spawn. It's pretty cool. But yeah, like this huge room here, you'd like have another farm here, there's another breeze spawning here, so you'd like, what would be really, yeah, it'd be really cool to like actually have like a farm fully set up. I want to like, in my survival world, have like a full place and like have every single one of them like farmable. And like every single one of these rooms is like farmable and stuff. But yeah, so they spawn in the air, which is pretty cool. And that's it, that's literally the whole farm. I hope you all enjoyed this farm. I hope you had a great time. I'm like F5ing right now, you can see my like head like right there, you can see it very cool. There I am, look at me, little me. Hope you all enjoyed, thank you for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>